Today's video, it's trauma shears versus seatbelt cutters. Let's have a conversation. Hi, I'm Kylie, just another Army vet. I make medical, military, and veteran related content. As medics and as first responders and EMTs, we are pretty much schooled that trauma shears are the way to go when it comes to cutting clothing or bandages or tape or anything like that. And I'll, I'm gonna tell you a secret right now. Trauma shears suck. They suck when it comes to cutting clothing. Now with my aid bag or even an aid station, yes, it's good to have some trauma shears for cutting tape sometimes or some bandages. Yes, these are good to have, so definitely hold on to these. But the secret weapon to getting a patient's clothing off and wounds exposed as quickly as possible is just to use a seatbelt cutter. These things are amazing. They're not just for cutting seatbelts in rescue situations. They're actually great for cutting clothing off of people. So, I thought we could do a little demonstration. Trauma shears for this thin type of cotton it probably it's probably not going to be too difficult. Let's give it a go. Okay, so trauma shears. That's not too bad when it comes to cotton. I'm going to try to use a seatbelt cutter. As you can see, that was a lot more efficient. See the denim holds up. That easy? Let's try the trauma shears. Already my hand is tired and hurting. These things suck. I had actually done this in real life. We had a real life trauma patient come in when I was at the National Training Center in California. I just went ahead and used my seatbelt cutter and got the guy's pants off in a matter of seconds. Whereas we had two medics that were trying really hard to, to cut the guy's uniform top off and they were not making any progress. I went ahead and gave them my seatbelt cutter and they were able to have it off within two seconds. So, this does work in real life. I highly suggest that if it's not already there, go ahead and add a seatbelt cutter to your molly gear, to your aid bag, and to your aid station. If you're curious about what you should pack in your car's aid bag, then go ahead and check out this video right here. Please give this video a like. Thanks for watching. Until next time, signing out.